Uh, Pete, is this the theme song you listen to right before you take off? <laughs> this would be the cliche theme song. <laughs> Pete McLeod joining us right now, Canadian professional aerobatic pilot. What you do, uh, to say it's impressive, that is an understatement. But this was uh, a, a long history for you. You took your first family flight at what, six weeks old? Yeah, had, my parents had me in the plane at six weeks old, and uh, my dad's knee at three years old, kind of taking the controls and learning how to, uh, what does what, what moves you left and right and up and down. So, okay, let's get past basic controls. At what point in your life? do you realize you're going to be a stunt pilot pulling off the maneuvers that we're about to see here on screen? Uh, fast forward, I was 16 years old getting my license. So I ended up with my pilot's license before my driver's license, but I uh, uh, wanted to do some uh, kind of advanced training for safety training to carry over into my normal flying. I got hooked on it, and uh, from there it was just uh, the more, uh, more, more power, more speed, the crazier stuff, the better. Nerves of steel, <laughs> undoubtedly, you need for something like this, but what are the other key elements for pulling off uh, a show? Because usually when you're up in the air, these go for, what, 10, 20 minutes, right? Yeah, you know, uh, it, it, it's a physically demanding aspect to it because we're, uh, there's a lot of G-force in the plane, so uh, we'll be uh, 8 to 11 G on most corners, which is a, a G is at the force of gravity. Right now we're under 1 G, so yeah. uh, at 10 G you're 10 times your body weight, and that affects everything on you as far as your heart and your blood and all that. So um, that side of it, as well as uh, just the precision to get it done. So um, it boils down to a lot of practice, and it's not something you just hop in and say, okay, well, I'm going to try this and see how it goes. Yeah. It's... Uh, uh, you know, these are practice routines and maneuvers that I've done hundreds and thousands of times, and uh, to be able to, uh, you know, perfect them and bring them uh, down low, close to the ground, and make them spectacular and uh, a cool show to watch for everyone here in Vancouver. You know, we were talking in the green room. I'm thinking, if I were, uh, uh, if I was a passenger in the plane, I would be terrified. But for you, there's so much to focus on as the pilot. Uh, do you have any fear at this point, or is that all removed and it's all about putting on a good show? Yeah, you know, it's all business in there. It's kind of my office. I've, I've I spent enough time in the plane and doing this that I get used to it and uh, even if you're going 400 kilometers an hour straight at the ground and uh, you know pulling out and just missing it it's uh, it becomes a normal thing um, you always want to have a little bit of element of uh, fear not totally remove it because that kind of uh, that keeps you safe as well and sets the boundaries there's limits always so you don't want to break them you're right up against them but don't break them thousands of people come out to see what you do best high in the sky has anything ever gone wrong when you're up in a plane um, you know, if you spend enough time in the airplane, you're going to have issues, mechanical things, different um, items, but I've been fairly fortunate and, uh, you know, you run good equipment and good training uh, are the keys to minimize that. And you never get sick. I don't get sick. <laughs> I Cheeseburger, burrito, right before that, no problem. <laughs> no way, taking that down. Well, listen, you're uh, part of a very important spectacle here in the city. Celebration of light uh, happening. People love to go and check out the fireworks. Wednesday and Saturday, what are they going to see from you? They're going to see a, some uh, max power flying in the airplane. I mean, uh, we've got a great spot in English Bay, and uh, I'm stoked to be back. And um, th this year versus 2011, this is now my second time in English Bay, so a little more comfortable with the site. And uh, the plane's running good, and and uh, I'm feeling good, so it should be a great show. 8 o'clock, you got to be in the beta seat. If you're not going to be able to make it down for fireworks, Pitt Meadows Airport, you're going to be there today? Uh, yeah, we'll be doing some practice there today, and uh, we'll use uh, we'll use that as our staging ground to get into English Bay and back. And what time's the practice run today? Uh, just afternoon. Just after yeah, 12 p.m.? Uh, yeah. Okay. Jump in, follow this man. <laughs> it's impressive what you do, man. I couldn't do it, but I love watching it. Great stuff right there. Uh, Pete McLeod, once again, big thanks. Enjoy the shows tomorrow night. We'll take a final break, wrap things up, and queue up Wednesday show here.